hello good morning all so today i am going to explain how to configure udo with apache and mod wsgi so there are a lot of the people asking for configure udo with mod wsgi and apache actually there are many process bear nginx we need to use and having there are lot of the blocks bear be using nginx and gunicon to configure the udo but today i will going to explain how to configure udo with apache and mod wsgi okay so let me first log into my server and ssh so i have log into my server linode server and then let me go to the uh, udo user actually i did all things same like uh, just go to configure udo you need to set up udo clone the udo those are, are i have already done so now i have just activated the udo user and i already clone the udo source code here so source code is set up so suppose uh, if i run uh python udo.py with configuration file okay and go to check it on browser it will work so you can say that udo is running locally on server now i need to set up all the things with apache and wsgi so let's close it and then uh, first we need to configure mod wsgi for udo so actually i already written the code for both the udo 9 and 10 version so basically on on udo 9 version we need to import sys as everywhere we are using and import os then we need to append the path of udo folder on current working directory so environment and all python environment get loaded and then we need to use multi process true and configuration we need to load by default web module also open erp dot tools dot config we can initialize with the conf and rest of the th settings like add on path how many add ons you have add on path like a custom add on another add on static uh, http document root we need to specify we need to specify database name uh, name but it's not compulsory you can leave it either you can provide okay db host db user db port and a db password and also you need to provide admin password admin password so that uh, at the time of the database creation and deletion it will ask for the admin password and we need to then import the open erp.services.wsgi server.application in basically in python wsgi we are importing wsgi.application so udo come with wsgi server and it's written under the open erp dot services dot wsi dot server module so we have taken this application and then you need to just load all the modules for the wsi and then we need to bind with the gunicon all the things okay so let me create a file and put this code there so i have just copy this code and going to create a file here nano sorry wsci.py let me post paste code here okay so i paste this code here and created new file on udo folder under opt and udo uh, actually this udo folder uh, i have cloned the udo 9 and uh, it's working basically fine with nginx and 
if I run directly it's 8069 port so now let's uh, let's create the WSGI and then Apache configuration so I have created the WSGI file for Udo let me try to run it python Udo WSGI so it work well uh, that means if I directly run the python odoo-wsgi.py if something error on the file it will give error otherwise if nothing is on file it will be directly run without print anything on console so I have done it and then let's create the setting file on apache so nano I have already installed the apache and mode whgi for python 2.7 so if you are struggling with that you can just search for uh, install apache with mode whgi and you need to type the command sudo apt-get install apache and apache to mode whgi I will uh, give this command on the description section and also give all the code on the description section you can find code from there so etc apache 2 sites available and then let me try with the default configuration this is the default configuration that come by default with apache uh, so let me remove uh, remove it For now, I'm commenting few line code. And I already written the code for uh, serving WHGI application with Apache. So here is the virtual host and then with the virtual host uh, we need to give IP address so right now I'm working with this server so let me copy and paste it uh, I think it's same okay great so not same okay 172.104.53.43 okay so here is the IP address and then server realize it nothing means actually I will explain this server realize and server name on the separate video later so WSGI script realize that means whatever the WSGI script be made we have to uh, provide the path here uh, for more information you can mm, get those details from the Python WSGI and uh, WSGI daemon process I have a lot uh, this will be run as the daemon process it, uh, we need to provide the user and group so we have a clear as uh, every documentation uh, generally be going to host udo we uh, create a new user udo and group udo so I have already created the udo and group udo, uh, udo, uh, udo and then define the process number two that means two processes will start by default and the python path so uh, that is a opt and udo from where this code will be executed and uh, in the process when this process will be executed uh, uh, running uh, you can check by the ps e that will be the apache open erp so that is a display name okay and then define the uh, uh, process group that is oe as defined on the uh, wsgi demand process and uh, error log actually i given the path of the udo you can give path from anywhere or apache folder and then you need to provide require all granted for the udo user within a udo directory so it and uh, so the apache will able to uh, read all the python files and execute it so this is a small code that we need to post 
on this file okay so I just copy from my local editor and paste it to the server okay and sorry someone is come to me so I need to pause the recording okay so uh, let's save it first so the actually I do not have permission to save it uh, why it's saying let me okay okay first I need to quit with Odoo user and then go for that because Odoo user do not have so droid permission etc Apache 2 sites available and then default let me remove everything for now let's save it and restart the Apache okay so let's enter only ip address and see that if it works okay so by default right now it's opening the apache and uh, let me reload it okay it's give me the error great so let's see what error is there uh, just hold on let me pause the recording find out the error and then again we'll explain you so uh, i just run the tail command to find out the error what i'm getting so this, this is basically give me the error uh, opt udo custom add-ons directory is not exist so we need to change the directory of add-ons basically i given a custom add-on add directory that is uh, for my uh, last configuration but in this server it's not exist so i need to change it and and uh, okay so nano udo dash wsci and here i have defined the add-on path so let me change it this directory exists on my computer so I altered the code and then go to restart Apache again and then see what will happen okay it's work okay great so we did Udo configuration with Apache and mod WSGI. I will post all the Nginx and WSGI configuration on my description uh, so you can find from there. Otherwise, I will push it to GitHub and give the URL. And then in next video, I am going to explain same things for Udo 10. Actually, Udo 10 having something different uh, WSGI script. So I will explain in the next video very soon okay thank you guys thanks for watching